So when you hear the name WeCreate, you probably think of a laser that looks like this with this familiar extended height uh, cabinet and definitely easy to use. Well, the good news is that WeCreate is back. They have a new laser. It's designed specifically for, uh, we'll say, makers that have a side hustle as opposed to high production. It's still easy to use and we're going to look at it in this video, so stick around. Hey, it's Steve and welcome back. Now, WeCreate has just announced the all new WeCreate Vista. This laser definitely looks like the original WeCreate Vision. It's got that same kind of form factor, but it doesn't have that, that dynamically extended height that the Vision has. In fact, this laser is very slim line and you might look at it immediately and think of some problems, but they've thought of some really cool technologies to put in this laser. We'll talk about those. And I'll definitely do some benchmarks. Uh, I'll do a couple of little projects to try it out. And uh, at the end, I'll talk about things they did well, things they could do better, and you can decide for yourself if this is a laser you want. I don't normally do unboxings as part of my laser videos, but in this case, I'll make an exception because this laser is brand new. Now, I won't show you end to end from the time it arrived to, to the time it's plugged in, but I will show you a, a couple of sim simple bits here. And the first one is really how well this is packaged. So all of the, the things you need to put this laser uh, up on your workbench and start using it are inside the laser itself. So you have the exhaust hose and the tool kits and even a rotary tool is, is in there. And then it's just a case of pulling the foam out of the center and put that aside. There's also another one underneath that, that prevents the laser module from hitting the, the bottom during shipping. So you can pull that out. And then it's just a case of, of putting in the grates and the, and the crumb tray. Uh, and uh, there's, you'll see those two pieces of red tape over on the side. You can just peel those off. Now there is uh, uh, one thing you gotta be careful of here because this laser in addition to that tape has a couple of screws on each side of the, of the gantry that you have to remove. And it wasn't really obvious, so I'll show it here. And it's, there's actually two sets of screws on each side. There's a small set and a big set. The big set is the, is the pair you want to remove on each side. The small set is actually uh, what holds the gantry to the belts. So don't pull that off. Take the big, the big bolts. And with it all set up, we'll do a little flyover. You can see this definitely looks like a WeCreate laser. It's squished down though. On the back, we have the air assist. Uh, power switch, the power connection, and USB. This is, of course, a class one laser. And the last thing we have back there is the exhaust fan. And, and it's that simple. On the inside, if we open it, we have the, the crumb tray that you can pull right out and empty. There's also a built-in camera up in the lid. Now it, it works with the lid open and it works with light burn. Holding up the lid are a couple of gas shocks that work really well. This is the best lid assembly I've ever seen. Uh, inside there's a 10 watt diode laser that might be a little underpowered, but we'll talk about that as we go. But it has a really nice feature, which is I can loosen these screws and I can turn the laser sideways. And what that allows me to do is put the rotary inside the cabinet without having to lift the laser. And I think that's just a brilliant idea. So uh, kudos to WeCreate for making that happen. Now I wanted to do some samples, so I loaded up WeCreate Make It, which is WeCreate's tool for this laser. I found this interesting thumbs up sign. Now it's got two layers. The red layer is the outline, the cut, and the blue layer that draws the hand is an engrave. And now I'll set the, the power settings. The speed is 100 millimeters a second, which is pretty quick, and the power is about 75% should, should do a nice engrave. And once I get that set, I just fire it over to the laser. And when it's ready, I just push the blue start button. It'll turn green, the laser will start working. Now it's doing the outline here first. So you can see it's drawing the hand and then it does the cut, uh, start with the base and then it draws the outline, uh, the cut of the hand itself. And once it's there, I can pull it out of the laser. You can see it looks pretty good. And when I put it together, hey, it looks really neat. I got this nice thumbs up sign. So that was the first job. Now that clearly is an indication that even though this laser is just 10 watts, it actually is a pretty decent cutter for three millimeter plywood at least. And uh, certainly the engraving is great because it's, it's a 10 watt laser, so it has a pretty small beam size. 
Next, I wanted to see how the WeCreate Vista handled images, so I loaded up a grayscale of my lighthouse here. I could have done a little more power here and made this a little darker, but it came out pretty nice. The detail is actually fantastic here, and again, that's a function of, of that smaller beam size on the 10 watt laser. And finally, since I had the lighthouse loaded, I put a piece of black acrylic in here and I did an engrave. Now I used Jarvis for this one. However, you'll notice the screw up on the left. That was where I left it at grayscale the first time. But the lighthouse came out great when it was on black acrylic with Jarvis. So all in all, I'm pretty impressed with the engraving and, you know, the cutting given that it's a 10 watt laser is above average, I'd say. It seems when we create design this laser, they wanted it to be a one-stop shop for your small maker business. So they also included this rotary attachment in the box. It's pretty easy to install. It's not quite as easy as the vision because it, there's just less room here, but it, it installs pretty easily. You drop it in on a pin and then you put a screw in each end and plug it in and really that's all there is to it. So it, you'll have it up and running in a couple minutes. Now if you're doing jobs where you take it in and out all the time, maybe it's not quite so easy, but it, it, it works and it isn't really that difficult. For the very first test here on the rotary, I'm just gonna use this piece of cheap cardboard tube and uh, put it in the in the chuck and tighten it down a bit. It's not, I mean, it's cardboard, so you don't want to tighten it too much, but just clamp it down a bit to keep it from, from moving. And then I'm going to go over to We Create Make It, and you'll see that I have the cylindrical mode set. So the, the workspace looks completely different here. There's an out of range at the top, which is where the chuck is. And then on the sides, uh, basically I've set the, the diameter of the tube, and the the two edges there where you see the out of bounds is really where uh, th what the tube would look like if it was unrolled flat. So you know exactly how much width you have, and that's a really nice touch. Now I'm just just gonna set the settings here, uh, and I've set threshold because this particular uh, logo is monochrome; it's either black or white, and uh, so threshold is probably the cleanest way to do this. And then I'm gonna fire it over to the laser. Now it was a little harsh on the power here, so uh, it, was a, it was a little dark and there was a lot, of, a lot of soot. But once I cleaned it up, it actually came out uh, not too bad. And, and uh, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. Now we did one more test with the We Create Vista rotary, and, and that was to take a water bottle, a stainless steel water bottle, and, and do an engrave of my logo on that. And you can see the, the engraving happening here. Now, it, it came out great, except that this is my first day on the job, so I naturally screwed this up. And when I took the water bottle out of the chuck, uh, I realized I didn't pay attention to which end was up. and. The result was the logo looks spectacular, but it's upside down. And, uh, you know, I'll talk to that employee uh, later, but uh, when I turned it over, it actually came out pretty nice. So uh, I'm not too worried because I'm actually going to do another video on this WeCreate Vista because I do have the IR laser module for this. And uh, I'll get a much better engrave with the IR module on stainless steel anyway. So I'll make sure when I do that one, I have the water bottle upside right. And uh, we'll, we'll leave the rotary at that. The last significant feature I want to talk about here is light burn integration. Now we create does provide make it their own uh, authoring software for free. And it works very well in my opinion. It's about as easy as you can possibly make a laser. So if you're a complete newbie, then you may want to use make it. But for those that want to use Lightburn, the good news is there is a driver from WeCreate for the WeCreate Vista. And it, you can simply do an import the way you always would. Uh, for, go to the devices, select the driver that uh, is sitting on your, on your system, and import that in. And basically, that's all you have to do. Then you can go select the the driver in Lightburn. Now, one thing you do have to do is you do have to measure your material thickness because autofocus from the WeCreate Vista doesn't work directly in Lightburn. So you have to measure it and then go in and enter the value in the material field. And the other thing you also want to do is set the, the Z offset in, in your toolpath and set that to 20 millimeters for the WeCreate Vista. 
And if you do those things, you won't have any trouble uh, cutting or engraving. Now, I will point out a couple of things here. My version of this laser is still about four weeks before uh, this laser has been released. So by the time you see this, the laser will be released. But my driver for Lightburn, although it worked, was a little dodgy. There were a couple of places where things were that were supposed to work aren't working yet. And I assume it's just because the team is still working on it. For example, the camera, which Light, which we create said they were going to provide integration for, uh, isn't integrated into Lightburn yet. And hopefully that will happen. Uh, that was a big complaint with a uh, we create vision and hopefully it's not an ongoing complaint with the Vista, but they do tell me it's going to be integrated. The other thing I ran into was when I tried to run a material test here using Lightburn's standard tooling, uh, I wasn't able to get the laser to focus, and that's because there's no way to set that material thickness for a material test job. And again, hopefully they figure out how to resolve this somehow so that you can run material tests because material tests are very common things. Anyway, those are the, the, the couple of minor issues I ran into. And again, I, I assume they're going to have a lot of this fixed by the time you get your hands on one of these lasers. So that's the WeCreate Vista. It's a brand new laser. I, I, I think it's very positive. I, I, I like this laser. I, I really like uh, what it can do. But I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you all of the things I think that it, they did really well here and some things that WeCreate really needs to think about resolving. So on the pro side, uh, it's definitely the easiest laser to use. If you're, if you're a total beginner, you can jump into this laser. It's very easy to set up. It's very easy to use their software and uh, you'll have designs going in no time. I like the ergonomics here. I like the form factor. It's uh, that slimline model is really nice. Uh, it doesn't look look awkward like the like the Vision, although the WeCreate Vision is a very nice laser on its own. This one is just just a nice pleasant looking laser. And uh, finally, on the on the pro side here, there's a very big community around we create so they've grown it very quickly but if you want to design you can go with we create make it you can you can connect to the community you can download designs or you can upload designs too if you want uh, now on the con side there was a couple things i think that that they really need to look at now keep in mind that my whole perception here is based on a pre-release laser by the time you see this, it could have some of these uh, issues could be resolved. So uh, first on the list, it's only a 10 watt laser. Now that in itself might seem like a big problem, but WeCreate has told me that they're gonna have a 20 watt laser module soon. Uh, so, you know, if you wanna wait a couple months and you absolutely need 20 watts, that might be the option for you. But there's also an IR module, which I mentioned, uh, and I have one in my possession right now, so I'll do a video on that uh, upcoming. And next on the list here on the, on the con side, uh, the beam size here seems a bit larger than I would expect. So it's a 10 watt laser module. I'd expect kind of a 0.06 by 0.06 kind of size, or maybe 0.06 by 0.1. This laser is 0.03 in, in, the, in the X direction, which is fantastic, but in the Y direction, it's 0.2. And that seems huge to me. So I don't know what the deal is. Hopefully that's a typo in the documentation, but uh, it doesn't seem to be based on, on what I see from the laser's performance. Now, the last thing on the list is the rotary installation. Uh, I didn't have a whole lot of trouble here, but I think if you're a brand new user to the laser world, you really shouldn't have to be turning bolts in to, to add functionality to the laser. This should be literally a two minute job to put the rotary in or take it out. So uh, hopefully, you know, they can add thumb screws that you can, you can just thread in by hand, or they just put big pins there that hold the rotary in a, in a very uh, positive, firm way. So all in all, though, I don't think any of these things is a major issue. Now, if you are in the market for a WeCreate laser uh, and maybe you haven't seen the WeCreate Vision, which is their, their big brother to this WeCreate Vista, then you want to click this video up here and go watch that review. Uh, and maybe that's the laser you want. Or if you do want this one, I'll put an affiliate link in the description down below where you can buy this laser. It doesn't cost you any more, but it does help out the channel. And if you're interested in making that happen, I would appreciate that. Uh, and with that, I'll wind down and I'll say, get out there, make your world, and I'll see you next time.